Imagine if your DNA could help diagnose health problems, prevent disease, and predict your response to different treatments. That's the promise of genomic medicine, which some believe could be the future of healthcare. But there's a problem. Millions might miss out. The way genomic medicine works is by doctors and researchers having a good understanding of the variation in different populations. But right now, the uh, databases that doctors and researchers use don't represent many Australians. So over 5 million Australians, primarily of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander background and multicultural communities, are not in these databases. Multicultural communities have long been underrepresented in research, but the Our DNA project is trying to fill in the gaps and create a DNA database that represents everyone. In Melbourne's northern suburbs, collections are underway. Researchers need at least 1,000 participants from each missing group to create a robust genetic database. And the Lebanese community is ready to roll up their sleeves and donate their DNA. At first, uh, the community as well felt reluctant to take part. They have two information sessions, so they are informed what's the steps all about, what's the cause all about. So they felt very comfortable, supportive and uh, proud to be taking part. Well, our community is family oriented, culturally rich, and we're proud of its heritage. But like many multicultural groups in Australia, we are not well represented to fill in the gap of the global genetic databases is very important. It means that no one gets to miss out on advances in genomic medicine. Our DNA has already secured enough participants from the Vietnamese and Filipino communities. They're now looking for those with Tongan, Sudanese, Samoan and Fijian ancestry. Advances in genomic medicine are expected to make it easier to diagnose rare genetic conditions and personalise treatment. For Melbourne mother Chi Vu, it's an important goal. My youngest one, he has a rare genetic condition since birth. He's also a very small baby and premature, so whenever we go to the milestone, we realise he's a little bit delayed, but we did not know exactly how severe he is. Chi's son was initially diagnosed with level three autism. But a few years later, additional testing revealed he had a rare genetic condition known as Verhage syndrome. I think the diagnosis helped not only for me, but helped my son. Not many people, they know that they're able to, to do, a, do the test, the genetic test, the stigma in the community. Like, you're not re you know, really ready to share what's going on in your family to orders. You're not ready to receive the help. The Australian government wants to be at the forefront of genomic medicine. It's invested half a billion dollars in research and 30 million in a national body to help make genomics a routine part of clinical practice. Privacy advocates remain concerned about how genetic data is collected, stored and protected from cyber attacks and others want stronger protections to prevent any form of genetic discrimination. But with Australia's multicultural population, advocates hope the country can build genetic resources that benefit everyone. For all humans, we share 99.9% .9 of our DNA in common, but it's that 0.1% of variation that makes you know, us have different eye colours or respond to different drugs differently. As genomic medicine is becoming more embedded in healthcare, we still do have time now to build these resources so future research does include everyone and the findings from that can be used, used by everyone.